So I want to thank everyone for uh, joining us for the Solar Power Market Series today. Today, we're going to be hearing from Jim Labrie at Regional Sales Manager at Femur about Femur's products and offering. Uh, before we get started, though, and just as people are starting to filter in still, um, I'm going to give a little bit of info about Renvu, um, if you haven't heard about us. Um, we're a solar equipment distributor that was founded in 2012, uh, based in Mountain View, California. My name's Nick. I'm a sales engineer here. Um, our entire sales team has an engineering background, which allows us to go pretty in-depth into projects with our customers, whether it be small, residential, uh, up to larger commercial. So we're always happy to help on any of those different projects. Um, we do offer uh, commercial design services as well, uh, as well as residential. So if you have projects that you need assistance on, we can help with those. Um, we have another program called the Megawatt Club, which uh, covers your shipping for all of your orders and has discounts on different products as well. So definitely ask about that if you haven't heard about it. We have multiple online to tools that I'll touch a little bit about in a second um, that can assist you in creating your own system design, uh, ranging anywhere from uh, adding batteries to your regular grid tied system. Uh, as well, we offer a number of different financing options uh, for the end user as well as for installers. So feel free to take a look at that portion on our website as well. To talk a little bit about the products we carry, um, here's a few examples. We have the AP Systems and AP Smart Rapid Shutdown devices um, that you can take a look at. They're great for uh, any of your string inverter systems that need to be compliant with rapid shutdown requirements. Um, we should be getting some Longi 360 modules available within the next week. Great all black, um, sleek looking module, high power. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, for your energy storage needs, Humless um, fits in seamlessly with Femur. Um, great energy storage device, has a lot of features that um, you, you might not see in other energy storage systems. Um, so take a look as well. KB Racking, fantastic, uh, really efficient, easy to install and design with, uh, flat roof ballasted system. Uh, and Blicker, um, which I'll talk a little bit more in depth about now. Um, so Blicker, residential carport system, we just started carrying this uh, maybe about six to nine months ago. Great option for um, any of your residential carport needs, uh, especially if you have systems you want to install for customers that don't necessarily fit um, on a ground mount or um, in a regular roof mount system. Um, so it comes uh, with a 24 by 60 um, uh, yeah, so 24, 60, or 120 cell ha panel um, on an 18 by 18 by 9 foot uh, array. Completely sealed surface using the T gasket, um, so you can have a, a seamless sort of waterproof transition for parking your cars under. Comes with a standard 5 degree tilt um, and only has pure depth of 2 feet, so really easy in terms of installation. You don't need any heavy machinery um, for digging out those um, pure install uh, depths. Uh, comes with a standard 35 uh, PSF snow load, 170 mile per hour wind load. I do know that we're looking to up that because there's some some uh, um, jurisdictions on the East Coast where hurricanes are, are normal that uh, require a higher wind load as well. Um, a couple additional just sort of uh, features that it add, you can add on to so the tea gasket we talked about, um, solar powered lighting for, for placing on the piers and a decorative mesh to kind of cover the backside of the, the panels as well. Um, so it's a really great uh, option. Um, if you're an installer and you're looking for information on this, uh, we do have a, a installer um, program. You can submit an application, you do three installs. Uh, when you finish those installs, you get $1,000 back per carport uh, for those three. And then once you sign into the SPA program, you'll get $1,000 per carport with a minimum of, of five carports per month um, that you need to install. Although we are a little flexible on how that is applied. So in the beginning, um, we can do it on a case by case basis in terms of, of how many installs that you would need uh, to um, have completed.
Um, okay, so that's uh, just my little intro spiel about Renvu and some of our products, just to, to let people filter in here. Um, Want to just make a, a couple other quick sort of technical announcements. Um, if you do have questions during the webinar, please use the Q&A section. Um, it's easier for us to keep track of those questions. Uh, if it's something we think we can answer uh, while the presentation's going on, we'll go ahead and, and pop in there and answer. Um, otherwise, uh, if we think it's a, a good question, we'll wait and we'll take take that question at the end so everyone can get a chance to, to hear the answer for it. Um, yeah, I think that's all from my end. I'll go ahead and kick it over to, to Jim. Um, I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen here. And then, yeah, Jim, if you want to kick it off and, and go from there. One moment. Okay, the right one. Okay, are we good? We look set. Yep. Fantastic. Thank you all for joining us here this morning. My name is Jim Labrie, and I'm the Regional Sales Manager for FEMER in the Western United States. I'm joined today by two of my colleagues. Uh, Juana Fanador is based in Texas. Ron is the regional sales manager for the southeastern United States. And Holly Burgesson, our regional sales manager for the northeastern United States. Holly is based in Indiana. We're here today to present FEMER, a manufacturer of solar PV inverters for, uh, for Renvu installers. Holly and Juan will be working the chat, so to speak, uh, while I'm doing this presentation here. Uh, in some cases, we may end up taking the questions at the end of the uh, at the end of the presentation, and in some cases, if it's something really simple, Juan or Holly will just type a response. Uh, they will be posting their contact information in the chat. I've already posted mine. Uh, with that in, uh, said, let's go ahead and get started here. Now, some of you may not have heard heard of Femur before. Uh, we're located in Italy. Our corporate headquarters, including the manufacturing operations and R&D, is located in Vimercati, Italy. Uh, we have a second uh, manufacturing facility in the city of Terra Nuova. These are the two arrowed uh, orange yellows, arrows here you see on the map. The two yellow stars indicate our two uh, regular offices, uh, staffed offices in Rome and in Milan. All of our commercial and residential string inverters are manufactured, tested, packaged, and shipped from Italy. Uh, that being said, we're a, we are by all definitions a worldwide presence. Over 46 gigawatts where the femur inverters are currently installed worldwide. Uh, femur maintains a physical pre presence on six continents with over 1,100 employees in 20 countries. We include, this includes a third manufacturing plant in India, and that's where our utility scale inverters are built. Uh, since many of you are hearing about the name Femur for the first time, I'll give you a brief history. Uh, we began manufacturing industrial equipment in 1942. Uh, we made welding equipment, actually. Uh, we utilized DC electrons. This would come in very handy when we would get in the solar business a few decades later. Uh, the welding business supported FEMER for decades uh, until the emergence of renewable energy products led FEMER to begin selling PV inverters in the 1980s. Most of this business was concentrated in Europe and Middle East. Uh, simultaneously, uh, Power One, which is I'm sure a more familiar name for many of you, uh, Power One also launched in Italy. Uh, they launched their business operations in the southern part of the country in the late 1960s. In 2004, Power One launched its renewable energy division. By 2009, they were one of the top inverter companies in the world. Uh, several years ago, many of you will remember this, that in 2013, Power One was acquired by ABB. Well, fast forward seven years, and last spring, FEMER acquired ABB's solar division. This meant that the name a a ABB and Power One for all of their solar branded products. Uh, this transaction was completed in May of 2021. All Power One products and all intellectual property has been transferred over to FEMER. Now, what does this mean? Well, the good news is this, mean, uh, is this means that you now have an international company who is assuming all the existing warranties and commitments. That's right, 
FEMA is continuing to support and will support the huge installed base of Power One and, and ABB solar inverters. Uh, in fact, FEMA is launching a promotion for the owners of these inverters in the United States. Uh, those, uh, for those of you who have customers that own a Power One or an ABB labeled inverter, uh, we're launching our repower program uh, very soon. More about this later on in the presentation. Before we dive into the products, I just wanna make a quick note about a couple of huge issues that are presenting some challenges for some solar component manufacturers. I wanna talk a little bit about business ethics and having an ethical supply chain. FEMA has a commitment to an ethical supply chain. And what this means is that we are choosing our business partners if they hold and the same values that we hold. Our vendors have agreed to it to the terms outlined in our code of ethics, which includes environmental, social, and governance commitments. And these companies promise not to utilize forced or child labor. We are offering solutions that fit your needs, affordable and responsible. This FEMA aims to make the world stronger and hopefully make our industry a little better. I'm going to talk now about the Uno DM Plus. Uh, there are two versions of, the, or two sizes, I should say, uh, physical sizes of this inverter. Uh, the 3.3 to, uh, to 5 kilowatt unit is on the left. The 6 kilowatt unit is on the right. Why would you want to choose the, uh, the Uno? Good question. First of all, because it's really small. This is a good thing. When installers open a box, probably the first thing that most of them will notice about the Uno is its size. The three to five kilowatt units weigh just 33 pounds. The six kilowatt unit weighs in at just 47 pounds. I think we'd all agree that an installing inverter is much easier if one person can actually lift the unit. Uh, the Uno is mighty uh, with the ability to oversize up to 130% an Anima 4X rated enclosure, the Uno inverters are built to last. They're dependable. The installed base of Uno inverters, we're talking about roughly 300,000 units, has a failure rate of 0.05%. Now this is partially due to the Anima 4X enclosure. That's a significant upgrade over the Anima 3R ratings that most PR inverters carry. But it's mainly due to the fact that Uno inverters are built by a company who takes manufacturing quality very seriously. This helps explain why they've been business for over 75 years. It's simple. The Uno was designed with the installer in mind. Commissioning takes just three minutes and installation only requires a simple four-step process. You'll also want to know that the support team for the Uno inverters is located domestically. They're in Phoenix, Arizona. The average wait time, wait time for tech support calls is less than five minutes. And finally, it's affordable. Uh, here at FEMA, we believe that solar should be accessible to everyone. Uh, the market needs high quality, ethically manufactured and affordable options for the installers and homeowners. Now we're not going to discuss pricing on this webinar. Uh, we want you to contact your Renvu sales for rep but we're, we know that you'll be impressed when you get a quotation for them for the pricing uh, that, that comes with FEMA inverters. The Uno DM Plus is UL certified. Uh, we're gonna talk today about the, our single phase units. Again, the, the outputs range from 3.3 3 to 6 kilowatts. Each of these inverters includes two MPP2 string, MPPTs, excuse me, and each MPPT supports two strings. Now these inverters can be configured to support a 208 volt connection, but we're gonna talk about residential applications during this webinar. Uh, the UNO is certified to California Rule 21, it is certified to HECO Rule 14H, and it is SunSpec certified. Standard features for all UNO inverters include an embedded Wi-Fi data logger, a wireless web interface, uh, simple commissioning, 
remote firmware upgrades, these can be automated and owners have unlimited access to the Aurora Vision monitoring platform. And we'll discuss the platform a little bit later on. If you run into homes where Wi-Fi is not an option, please know that wired communication kits are available. Now here we have an exploded view of the inverter and we admit that this is kind of a busy screen. Uh, we ju we're just gonna point out a couple things on it. The first thing I wanna mention is something that this uh, shot does not include, and that's a fan. The Uno inverter doesn't require one. This frees up quite a bit of space. Uh, it helps the unit be you know, quieter and it's frankly one less thing that can go wrong. If you've ever had to replace a fan in the inverter, you'll know that it's a huge advantage to not have to worry about that. Um, first component I wanna point out to you is the mounting bracket. Notice how small it is, you can barely see it. Uh, we're gonna run a video a little bit later on and in an early part of the video, you'll physically see in, in a better light uh, how small this inverter bracket is. Some inverters require a bracket that runs the entire length of the inverter. The Uno bracket is much smaller and again, you'll see that in a video that we'll be playing here in just a couple minutes. Uh, next item I wanna point out is the LED screen. Uh, some inverter manufacturers have eliminated all the lights from the front panel. Femur includes an LED panel. This helps simplify troubleshooting. Last item I'm gonna point out on this screen is the location for the RSD transmitter. Uh, the rapid shutdown transmitter is located in the wire box. And this is really great because you're never gonna need to open the inverter up itself. The body of the inverter can remain closed completely during your installation. All of the connections are made in the wiring box that is below the inverter. Let's talk a little bit about installation here. Uh, depending on the size of the project, Installation could be as simple as three connections. And as I mentioned previously, all those connections are made in the wiring box. No need to go into the body of the inverter. As an installer, you simply remove the wiring box cover, connect the DC inputs on the left. This will be either one or two. Connect the AC outputs on the right, replace the cover, and you're done. It's very easy. Uh, the commissioning involves launching, uh, scanning a QR code. The QR code is located on the manual that ships with the inverter. You simply scan it to launch the four-step commissioning process. A Wi-Fi antenna inside the inverter will connect quickly to the home network for access to Aurora Vision. Aurora Vision is, is the monitoring platform. This takes three minutes. And we have a video now that we're going to show you that, that, uh, that illustrates this. The video is only three minutes long. I'm going to play it for you now, and I'll be coming back in at the conclusion of the video. This does include sound. Unbox your inverter and keep the provided documents at hand during installation and commissioning process. Install the inverter following the instructions provided in the quick installation guide. Begin commissioning by accessing the web user interface using any mobile device and following the steps included within the document. Turn on the Wi-Fi on your mobile. Open your QR reader and scan the QR code on the right side of the inverter. Connect to the inverter network. Scan QR code to finally access the web user interface. Create administrator and user account to begin commissioning.
connect the inverter to home wireless network. Set the date, time and time zone. And finally click on the next button to proceed to the next stage of the configuration wizard. Set the grid standard of the country in which the inverter is installed, followed by the input mode. Meter type. And energy policy. Confirm the settings by clicking Done and go to Login. You may now enter your account on the web server interface. After the wizard process is completed, the system will power on. View your energy production on your dashboard directly from your mobile. So let's talk for just a moment now about that three minute in, uh, commissioning. Like anything else, this is one of those uh, one of those processes that's a lot easier and a lot better the more you do it. You know, to be fair, the first one will probably take you 10 or 15 minutes to commission, possibly because you'll be calling our, you'll wanna call our tech support for a little bit of assistance. But the second one you do will probably take you seven to 10 minutes. The third one you're gonna do is gonna take you five to 10 minutes from then on, you're probably gonna find us a three to five minute commissioning to, for every femur inverter. We now wanna discuss rapid shutdown, which is of course an important NEC requirement. Now, femur is agnostic about RSD hardware. Uh, we've partnered and tested solutions from Tygo, AP Smart, and IMO. A lot of uh, the decisions about rapid shutdown are gonna depend on what your local jurisdiction uh, requires. Not everybody is on NEC 2017. Not everybody is on NEC 2020. Some of you are out there on NEC 2014, which still only requires string level shut a rapid shutdown. If that's the case, you can use the integrated transmitter with our rapid with our string level rapid shutdown kits, and these support one or two strings. Now, if you need to meet NEC 2017 requirements, you've got a few options. If you're just looking for a simple, inexpensive solution to meet code, you can choose the AP Smart Small and Compact Receivers. However, if you wanna add module level monitoring and some optimization, Tygo would be a great choice. If you have a project that requires Trade America compliance or the Buy, or, or BAA requirements, the Buy America uh, requirement, uh, you'll wanna choose the IMO Fire Raptors. Be sure to talk to your Renvu sales rep and ask them to help you uh, select the best solution for your particular project. Installers have two primary options for module level rapid shutdown. They can purchase the Tygo or AP transmitters and integrate them in the field, or they can order UNO inverters with the rapid shutdown transmitter pre-installed. Now, minimum order quantities may apply if you want to go to this uh, go this route, but please know that they are available. You can order pre-order inverters with the rapid shutdown transmitter already installed. Uh, for factory integrated rapid shutdown, the installers will want to order the inverter plus one receiver for every one or two modules, depending on the RSD hardware. Let's talk for a bit now about monitoring. Femur offers two different monitoring products. Energy Viewer is for homeowners. Aurora Vision is for, uh, is for installers. Energy Viewer allows solar system owners to remotely monitor system output and home power consumption with or without an energy storage system for all Femur inverters. Homeowners can monitor energy flow and system performance 
Uh, alerts can notify homeowners for, for some events and firmware upgrades can be pro uh, programmed to take place automatically. If a homeowner wishes to monitor uh, home power consumption, that feature is available. It does require the optional bi-directional meter. Aurora Vision is a desktop application for installers, helping them manage and view, and view their fleet of installations. Installers have access to system performance data that is generally more detailed than the data that's available in Energy Viewer. Now for homeowners who want that, uh, who want to view some of that data, there is a kiosk view available. Uh, because FEMA offers API integration with third-party monitoring systems, Aurora Vision has dual password, uh, is dual password protected for extra security. And now let's talk about the Universal 10.4, a residential energy storage solution. Uh, this is supported by our teams in Arizona and in Utah, which is where Humless is located. FEMA and Humless created the Universal 10.4 to sync and back up priority loads and have the ability to add battery capacity. Humless is located in Utah, uh, these battery experts began managing energy storage systems there in 2008. The Universal 10-4 utilizes 48 volt lithium ion phosphate cells, the safest, most robust chemistry available for residential energy storage batteries. The Universal 10-4 includes 10 kilowatt hours of energy storage, but that's expandable you can add additional storage in five kilowatt increments. The batteries are warranted for 4,000 cycles. Unlike similar products that stop producing power during grid outages, the 10-4 allows the system to continue powering production from the PV array. Let's look at some features and benefits of the Universal 10-4. Uh, perhaps the most unusual feature is the first one listed there. It has the ability to offer simultaneous AC and DC coupling. This is very unusual. Uh, the few companies that do offer dual coupling capability require additional hardware to make it work. Our consolidated design eliminates the need for external components. Other features of the 10.4 include expandable storage, you can, uh, you can expand it up to 40 kilowatt hours. Uh, the charge controller, the automatic transfer switches, and the generator inputs are included at no additional cost. Uh, DC coupled 10-4s can be black started. This allows homeowners with empty batteries to restart their systems without a grid connection. Uh, homeowners, of course, have the option to choose to keep uh, power in reserve or program the unit to operate in self-supply mode. One convenient feature and a significant advantage of the 10-4 is that you can choose where the battery receives its power. Any power source connected to the 10-4 can be used and you can change the energy source at any time. You can charge the battery using grid power, uh, a solar, a femur solar inverter, uh, a secondary DC coupled solar array, an external battery bank, or a generator. This diagram illustrates an AC and DC coupled system. Uh, the femur solar inverter, the grid, and the AC, or excuse me, and the generator are serving as AC outputs. Also unchanged is the AC output to the uh, priority loads. What has changed is the addition of a secondary solar array, which connects to the 10-4 as a DC coupled input. The secondary input routes power to the universal 10-4. This is how the unit can black start if the, if the grid goes down. Homeowners who already own a grid tied uh, PV system are faced with expensive options to retrofit with energy storage. 
Beamer installers will find that adding Universal 10.4 is an inexpensive way to go back to former clients and sell these clients energy storage. For clients without energy storage, be sure to ask your Renvu sales rep about a package deal, which we offer on FEMA, on FEMA Uno DM inverters when purchased with the Universal 10.4. I mentioned earlier about a program that we're launching uh, for people that have legacy inverters. I want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, that program is called Repower. Uh, it's a new FEMA initiative for the owners of legacy Power One and ABB inverters. There's a huge install base of these uh, out there. Uh, many of you uh, on this call have probably installed them. You probably know people that for whom you have already installed a power one or an ABB inverter. It's a huge installed base. Um, in many cases, you've been wondering what's the easiest way to go back to these clients and resell a new system to them, upgrade their, their inverter, add monitoring, add energy storage, whatever it is you want to go back to them on, well, we're going to make it easier for you. Uh, for repower clients, the homeowner gets a new 10-year warranty with the monitoring and the safety upgrades to the latest grid standards. And you're getting this at a discounted cost. The units available for repower are units that were installed in the United States between 2008 and 2015. There's a lot of them. Uh, the repower replacement inverters are storage and EV charger ready. Uh, again, there will be a discounted cost but this is, uh, this is dependent on the installer returning the replaced inverter to us. We need these for recycling and for parts purposes, and that is definitely part of the agreement. I mentioned earlier very briefly about our EV chargers, and we know that, that a lot of uh, inquiries are coming in every day because FEMA is well known worldwide for the EV, uh, EV charging solutions. I wanna talk about them very, very briefly. And if you go on the FEMA website, it won't take too long to find our EV charging solutions. Uh, we have a full line of residential and commercial EV chargers. They are offered all over the world, except of course, here in the United States. Uh, the good news is this will be changing soon. Uh, you see the full lineup pictured above. What well, we're going to begin in the United States is with our Flexa, a wall-mounted charging device for homeowners. When is this going to be available? It's a moving target. As of September 1st, uh, 2021, the best date we can promise you is sometime in 2022. Uh, we're really unsure when it's going to be. Obviously, there's a lot of moving parts that can affect it. Uh, we're not sure of with the exact date when these are going to land. We're very excited to offer this product in the U.S. Renville customers will know well in advance when the initial ship dates are confirmed. And finally, be sure to follow us. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us on LinkedIn or Facebook. Uh, we're going to be announcing a program very soon that will give a free, free Uno to certain installers who promote FEMA on, so, on social media. More to come on this very soon. And with that, I'm going to turn it over here uh, to all of my colleagues and me, uh, my colleagues and our, and our friends over at FEMA. So just a reminder, we try to make things simple. We try to package them up, you know, the rapid shutdown integrated, the storage is all in one, so that it's it's the easiest installation for you and for the homeowner as well to uh, to understand. And and affordability is one of our, our angles here so that it's it's accessible to, to the public. So um, I wanna just appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, we're always available for any sort of questions that you have or clarifications about Femur, ABB or, or any of the products and, and it's a pleasure uh, to be working with Renville on this. So really, uh, thank you, Nick and, and Peyton for setting this up and, and looking forward to the next events that we'll be hosting together. 
Yeah, I appreciate it, uh, Juan and Jim. I think that's probably a, a good opportunity for us to go ahead and wrap everything up. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining in. Uh, we appreciate you, you coming in and uh, joining us for the presentation. Like I said, we're going to be sending out an email tomorrow that will include a recording. Um, if you have any questions uh, that pop up after the fact, feel free to, to contact us at uh, info at review.com or um, uh, you can contact Jim or Juan and, and the contact information here listed on the, the slides. Um, so appreciate it and, and hope you have a good rest of your day and rest of your week and we'll talk to y'all soon.